wings, flex, crispy, wet. All right, so we're back. Um, as you can see by the title of the video, we're here to talk about why I am no longer vegan. Ooh. Yeah, so in high school, I think it was like one of our home ec or a nutrition class, one of those, I can't really remember. I'm, I, don't, I don't really remember the details of stuff in high school. Ooh, blocked it out. <laughs> but um, in one of those classes, is where I was first introduced to different lifestyles based on food. I'm from the South and eating is, is a part of our culture, it's a part of my identity. When we actually get together, which typically is around holidays, that is done around food. We bond through food when we break bread and things like that. So my identity and my understanding of food was the only food that I had ever been introduced to, which was Southern food, which was, you know, the yams, the collard greens, the the pork chops. I was definitely unaware of these, these different lifestyles that are based around food that actually end up becoming your identity. So when I got introduced to that and then getting the education about how our eating this choices in the Western world, how that impacts our livestock and how that impacts our planet and how it is impacting generations to come that's where I was like I definitely want to be vegetarian I remember telling my sister that and she was just like girl what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> so she was looking at me so it's like I know I wanted to be you know I wanted to do something I wanted to make a change so back then my whole reason for changing my eating lifestyle was because of how we were impacting the environment and actually caring about animals and loving them and all of that like when you're not the one that's having to go out and actually shoot and kill them and skin them and chop them and you know uh, cut their necks so they can bleed out if you're not the one doing all of that then you're far removed from it so it doesn't really impact you but when you actually sit down to look at all of that shit and how you know we really are not valuing their life that's where I was coming from in high school with it and and, I, and back then it wasn't trendy you know back then it wasn't a trend for people like this like it wasn't the thing to do you know I, I definitely got looks and all of that uh and I never really went forward with the vegetarianism in the, my early 20s because I already was doing like so much because I was in such a transition in my life I was starting to go natural for the first time so I had cut my hair you know I had no hair on my head and then before it was like the thing to do I actually was wearing you know lace front wigs wigs that had like the lace front with you know the tracks on the back of it so it's like I already was doing too much I feel like to me I already was doing too much and I already was getting the looks and the side eyes and all of that you know this bitch with this wig on and all that shit you know I always I was already getting enough so I was like you know what I'm gonna just focus on the food at a later time I'm gonna do it at a later time so literally it took me about 10 fucking years to finally change and go to another eating lifestyle that I wanted also in my early 20s I started the woke movement I started getting more information about why we eat the things that we eat in southern culture and it has a lot to do with uh, slavery we may do with, with what we had and that ultimately became the food that we ate you know generations and generations and generations and I started to you know also think about more heavily the veganism when my grandmother passed I wouldn't say she passed away because of the complication but if she didn't have to continue to get surgeries because of these different things you know weight and all these things then it's quite possible she would still be here with us today so that was another thing I was like, you know, let me go ahead and, and make this shift completely and stay within this shift. So I went ahead and um, I was already, the years prior to her passing, I was already, I had already kind of started eliminating different food, eliminated turkey. Um, I started eliminating beef. That was one of the things I definitely eliminated uh, first, the first the first batch, beef. Get that shit out of here. Get it out of here. So I definitely eliminated that. And I slowly but surely just started eliminating things as the months passed um, in that year, in 2016. So then in 2017, I just went cold turkey. That was my New Year's resolution to go vegan. So I went vegan or whatever. And I already was feeling kind of outcast. You know, people make their, their little comments. So you eat like a bird or your rabbit food or veganism isn't new. People have been doing this for a while. What do you think you're, you know, it's like... <laughs> I've had it in all types of things. I've had people being supportive to ones that feel that just because you're not doing what they're doing, then you're automatically looking down on them. I've dealt with all of it, y'all. I feel I feel all of that. So 
I was like, you know what, let me get around some people who look like me, who also are in the lifestyle like I am. There was a vegan group here. I didn't create it just to be on some like separatist ass shit. I wanted to be around people that look like me and were like minded. And that is very important, okay, to this. I did create a group, Nashville's Black Vegans here in Nashville. I believe I created it in March. We had about three different um, events, you know, the, and we had a couple of meetings in between there or whatever um fast forward to like the end of the year we wrapped up the last event granted honestly i kind of had lost my momentum the last event that we had two of my chefs in the event did not show up one of them canceled the night prior and then the other one just didn't show up wasn't answering it was very disheartening um and it did kind of slow my momentum down because here i am doing something that had not been done yet there are different things that i wanted to do but it's like here i am with my last event and it just went so disarray plus the fact of me being the one that was pretty much 99% of the financial backer for all of these. Um, and at the time I still had a day job and supporting myself on top of that. So it's like, I kind of took a step back from the, the group at one point, but then we had our new year's meeting, um, in 2018, um, at the top of this year. And we had that, that was the last one that we had. And then I had to fully actually step back, um, when I got pregnant during my pregnancy, I say I didn't start having those types of cravings until about the second trimester. I started craving, um, and I'm from Atlanta. Um, I say Atlanta by way of Decatur, but you know, my mom did have an Atlanta zip code when she had me. It's on my birth certificate and I was born at Crawford Lone. That's Atlanta. So bitch, I'm from Atlanta. Okay. Anyway, so basically the staple wing meal, chicken wings is the pepper wings, flat, crispy, wet. And you want some hot fries. Okay. And I like, I like peach tea, but anyway, so I was craving lemon pepper wings. That's, that's what I'm getting to. I was craving lemon pepper wings. Okay. I was craving a bad and my fiance you know he was giving me so much support he's like no you don't need it we can eat something else put some lemon pepper on it here get this vegan meat and i'm just like fuck all that shit you talking about like i i need that meat okay and i really felt then that i was having a boy because we actually waited until i had my son to figure out the gender of our baby and i felt like then i was having a boy because those cravings were a bitch y'all like they were no joke so it wasn't until after my, um, after, you know, that first checkup where I actually consumed, you know, and I had, I had to give in, I had to give in, I couldn't help it. I had to give in, like I could not help it at all. So I'd say, yeah, cause in my other video that I posted, I let y'all know that I had not had my first, uh, doctor's visit until about 23 weeks. So it was definitely after that when they told me, oh, sis, you got a, a good bill of health. Your baby's fine. His weight is fine. You know, I passed all these tests, the gestational diabetes, girl, you good. You, your iron's good. And I'm like, bitch, what? So yeah, my baby was cool. So I didn't, I didn't get my lemon pepper wings until after that. Okay. I did not get my lemon pepper wings after that. So yes, I slipped up. Yes. Reporting live. Mitra slipped up. I did. Okay. I had some lemon pepper wings and they were good. Okay. So I'm no longer vegan because I just, I don't want to get tied to that label. Okay. When you're vegan, it's like no animal products, period. I still consume honey. We have consumed honey for its medicinal purposes, child. Like, and I consume it every winter. I have a teaspoon of honey with some garlic, a nice big chunk of garlic too. And I eat it raw from the spoon. All right. And that helps me to make sure that I am at my top as far as my health and my immune system is plant-based is more focused on the health aspect and that is why I did get into veganism is the health aspect now majority of the time veganism is focused on the animals and I'm more focused on the health aspect I am compassionate towards animals but I do still consume honey. You can get your honey from a, a locally sourced um, honey farm. Do not buy your honey from Kroger. Get it from someone locally in your area. That is how you can help that, okay? Now I say plant-based. I'm more focused on eating whole grains and whole foods, fruits and vegetables with an emphasis on health. Right now, my focus is plant-based, period. No meat, okay? No longer vegan taken off of that title yes I did slip up I did and 
I had that craving and I had to fulfill it because my son was not playing with me, okay? I, I was craving so much of my old, my my childhood while I was pregnant. I was wings. I wanted Tostino's pizza. Child, I wanted some, some noodles. I wanted it all, okay? I And I, if I was going to pick one, it wasn't going to be no dairy. So I said, you know what? Let me just do these wings, okay? That's one thing I definitely will always avoid is dairy. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. Uh, definitely uh, check out my blog, thebrownperfection.com, where I have great recipes, vegan and vegetarian recipes. I'm still going to be using those labels on my recipes. Um, definitely. I'm still going to be running my group, which will be in the description box below. I'm not changing the name. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at The Brown Perfection. Also on Twitter, I am TBP. Definitely check back here um, as well as my blog. I'll be posting to my blog at least twice a week. Thank you guys so much for watching. And, um, and we will see you next time. <laughs>